Hey, what's going on? It's Mr. Gartrid here, and we're going to be looking at a Cape Integrated Mathematics question from the May June 2018 class paper. All right, someone asked me to do a video for functions, so just answering that request here. Okay, so here the, the question says that the functions f and g are defined by f of x equals x minus 1 and g of x equals 2x2 plus x cubed, right? Where x is a member of a set of real numbers. Part one says find the value of g of minus two, and part two says show that the composite function g of f of x is represented by x cubed minus two x squared plus two x plus one. Okay? Now, let me first say that if you want the solutions to the 2018 past paper, free of cost, it is on my website, okay? And my website, can be found in the description of this video. Okay, let's do part one of the question here, which says find the value of g of minus two. So it means that we're focusing on the function g, right? So let me go back up here. All right, and we're gonna do part one solution here. We know that the function g is what two plus x cubed right and they ask us to find the value of g of minus two so it means that i'm going to substitute i'm going to substitute the value of x as negative two into the function okay so it means that i will have what now i will have g of minus two as two plus minus two cubed okay great so I can now say that this is equal to two, negative two cubed will give me a negative eight. All right, so negative two cubed gives you a negative eight. So you have two minus eight, and therefore I can say that Jeff minus two is, two minus eight is negative six. Okay, so negative six is my answer for the first part of the question. Great. So part one is now completed. We just now do part two of the question to, where we have to show that the function g of f, g of f of x is equal to that. Okay, let's do that here. The part two solution. All right, part two solution. So we need to find the function g of f of x. So what is this function here now? The function f of x, let's go back to the question. The function f of x is given as x minus one. So it means that I can replace f of x there as x minus one. So we need g of x minus one. Okay, now remember that g of x is equal to two plus x cubed. Okay, two plus x cubed. So I can now say that f of x, which is x minus one here, all right, in order to find g of x minus one, it means that I need to know substitute x as x minus one into the function g, okay? Let's do that here. So this is now equal to g of x minus one is now two plus, replacing x as x minus one, you get x minus one all cubed. Okay, that is what I will get. Good. Now we need to know it. We need to know that we need to expand this term here. X minus one all cube, we need to expand that. All right. Now there are different ways in doing it. You can either use Pascal's triangle or your knowledge of binomial theorem, right? Or you could simply remember that there's an identity that we can use. All right, so we're gonna have a plus b all cubed. All right, please note that a plus b all cubed is the same as, is the same as a cubed plus three a squared b plus three a b squared plus b cubed. Okay, so you, you can remember that identity to expand x minus one all cubed all right now you might be wondering 
how can I use this identity when I have a minus sign here and I have a plus sign here, right? Well, in fact, we can actually rewrite this expression here, all right? I can write this as two plus x, x plus negative one all cubed, all right? That's the same as x minus one all cubed, all right? Good, so I can now expand that term using the identity. So this is now two plus expanding, all right? I'm gonna use x here as my term for a, okay? And I'm gonna use my minus one as my term for b, okay? So I can now say that this is equal to two plus a cubed. So we're gonna have x cubed here plus three a squared b, so that's three x squared multiplied by b, b in this case is negative one, okay? Plus three a b squared, a is x in this case, and b is negative one, so we have negative one squared, plus b cubed, b is negative one, so that's negative one cubed, okay? So I hope that was understood. So this is now gonna be equal to two plus x cubed, Three times negative one will give me a negative three, so that's negative three x squared. Negative one squared will give me a positive one. So what we have is one times three x, which is a positive three x. And then we have negative one cubed, which is negative one. Okay? Now, all we have to do is just to rearrange the terms in order to write what they had asked us to show. So I'm gonna put the x cubed in front, then the negative three x squared, then the plus three x, and then simplify. So two minus one is one. So we have a positive one here, okay? And that is my g of f of x, all right? So the question said to show that g of f of x is equal to x cubed minus three x squared plus three x plus one. And that is what we have just shown. So I can just come down here now and say show. All right, sure. Good. So that is the end of this past paper question from the May, June 2018 paper two. Okay, and this is module one, Foundations of Mathematics. So I hope that this video was helpful. If it was, please ensure to like up the video and subscribe to the channel. All right, I am Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador for the University of Technology Jamaica, and I'm a mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. I thank you for joining.